Hi there, King Jay here, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different because we're gonna be talking about all the new releases that I want no parts of. I know these videos can tend to be sort of negative, so if you don't like that, you don't like anti hauls, you think it's really negative and pointless, please feel free to click out of this video and go watch something else. I'd much rather you watch something you enjoy rather than watch me talk about these products and why I'm not getting them. But if you guys are interested in my opinions and my thoughts on why I am not buying these products, uh, feel free to keep on watching. <laughs> Alright guys, so first things first, um, the Huda Beauty New Nudes palette, gotta go. No, that bitch is like $85. Um, half those shades aren't gonna work for my skin tone, let alone skin skin tones deeper than mine. It's just, we're not doing that. Like, that's, that's silly to me. Um, it's just not going to happen. Like, it's just, plus, you support in Huda Beauty? 2018 was she out here copying anti-black anti-gay anti-gay males in makeup that got me fucked up hello no we're not doing all that all right guys next up so i know this is like a whole big controversy with tar cosmetics and their foundation shade range sucking ass um, when I first started makeup and I worked at a beauty retailer, I was obsessed with Tarte. It was just easily accessible to me and the products worked. As I like grew and tried new things, I realized that they didn't work as well as I thought they did. Um, but they just released a new version of their Tartist Pro palette called the Tartist uh, Pro Remix. Now, it's finally something that's not neutral tones and I, I applaud y'all for that, like good job. That was it. And honestly, the only reason I'm not getting it is because I'm getting the Morphe James Charles collab, and I just, I don't see, like, the need for both of those in my collection. But if I, if that, like, wasn't a thing, then I would definitely be getting the, the Tarte Remix. But, it just, it, like, the timing for me, just, like, if they waited, like, four more months and release that bitch in, like, spring, that would be sickening. But they're releasing it, like holiday and while it is beautiful it's just you know and like I have that old Tarte Pro no I don't I sold it on Depop because I was over it because I just feel like after a while the shades were very dry and patchy and hard to blend and so I hope that's not the case with the remix um who knows I may end up getting it but like as of this moment right here right now it ain't happening alrighty third product on my list you already know the Jeffree Star Alien palette um, <laughs> you're kidding, right? Um, no. Scratch that. Alright, the next thing we're going to talk about is the Dominique Cosmetics Berries and Cream Palette. The palette is gorgeous. It's really pretty, but it just, like, when I saw the pictures online and the promo and stuff, it just, like, doesn't do anything for me. I don't feel anything about it and so I just can't imagine spending my coin on that especially when it runs $44 it does have a lot of shades but I think there's like three or four in there that look like not usable for me or anyone deeper than me and so just because of that I'm just gonna have to pass on that one but I hope you guys like it um she has a couple of other palettes like the lemonade I think I really want that but just this berries and cream one I just feels like these are shades that we we have you know what I'm saying we have Next up, let's talk about Urban Decay. <sighs> I love Urban Decay. You guys see me use Urban Decay products all the time. You don't ever see me use Urban Decay eyeshadows because I don't like them. I have tried out the Urban Decay On The Run palette and that eyeshadow formula is everything. It's beautiful. I love that palette. But they're releasing three On The Runs on the go, so they're like mini on the runs. They have eight shades in them, and they are, I don't know what the price is yet, but I feel like if you have the on the run palette, which is already a large palette, you don't need these on the run to goes, and honestly, the shade selection in the on the run to goes, uh, palette by palette by palette is not impressive. I like heartburn for my teeth, um, is not impressive to me. And so I'm just gonna have to pass on that one. Like, that's just gonna be like a no-go for me. That's just, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, now, I think Jouer has really pretty products. I haven't been able to try anything from them yet just because it hasn't been like on the 
top of my list to go out and grab some Jouer products. Um, but they're releasing a new ultra foil palette and the packaging just looks like Makeup Revolution packaging. And it's literally uh, 12 different foily metallic shimmer shades. And I just, I don't want that. I don't need it. I, I hate palettes that are all shimmer. It really, really bothers me. I like one like cohesive palette, y'all feel me? All right, you guys, so that's it for today's video. I really hope that you guys didn't take this all to heart. I mean, as far as Huda Beauty and Jeffree Star are concerned, I don't really give a shit how you feel about them, but for me personally, if you don't support black influencers and black creators, and you have it in your heart where you can call another black creator any sort of name that's not um, their name, then I can't, I can't with you. And when you're open about it, like they are, you know what? You just, that's a miss for me. And if you want to support them, that's cool on you. But don't come to me asking me what I think about it because I'm going to tell you no. Like, I don't like it. It just pisses me off. So, you know the deal. Keep it real. Keep it real black. And that's going to be that on that. And I'll see you in another video.